Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you guys how I did these knotless braids. So I started with some DIY pre-stretched hair. Always make sure it's pre-stretched. It'll make your life a lot easier. Then you want to make sure you have a rat tail comb as well as a clip and some jam. Now, I did use some hair ties as well. Now this is a new method. I'll put the person where I got this from on the screen so you guys can check her out for more braiding tips. Now I'm going to go ahead and start with just sectioning off her hair into fours straight down in the middle and then I'm going to go from ear to ear. But in the jam down like grease really helps with keeping the parts really clean. I have this one left out and I'm going to start with parting the back and figure out how big or how small I want my braids. Again, I'm going to use the jam just like grease to make my parts nice and clean. So now I'm going to take my jam and just go around the perimeter of my section, making sure it's nice and smooth since this is going to be the base. Take the comb and just confirm it's nice and smooth. So I'm going to grab three sections like I would just start a braid. I'm going to start braiding one and two. When I go back over, I'm going to then add a piece of hair. I am always consistent with my strands. So whenever you are doing braids in order to keep it the same length all the way down, I don't know if you guys have ever seen it where braids get really big and thick at the root and then thin at the bottom. That's because they're likely using different sizes when they separate the hair. So I start with putting one side here, here's the middle and the other side there. Continue to braid the hair. When you wrap this around, you slip it in. So I'm gonna do that again. One. Two. Put it in, leave this side out, continue to braid. One, two, that one that's going back into the middle, you wanna add the other side. Continue that on. One, two, continue that on. One, two, and I pretty much just judge it until I feel like, okay, this is enough. This is how long I want it. This is how much hair I think it needs in regards to thickness. Until I get out of her real hair, I'm not gonna add any for now. I'm just kind of watching the width and the size of the braid. And then as I realize it's getting a little thinner, I will add another piece and continue that trend on. And I'm still working on my tuck game, but if when you're doing your braids, there's one piece that's shorter than the other, when the shortest piece is in the middle, that's when you want to take from the left side and add hair. So for me, this is the shortest piece. This is the longest piece to the left. So now I'm going to take and add to that short piece and then continue braiding. Now that I've had my one braid down, I'm gonna just continue and do the same thing. I will show you guys a close up of how I braid again with the black hair and try a different explaining approach. <laughs> but I did want to note another thing to help with doing braids on your own. 
is to make sure that you're stacking. So you see how I have one here? So I'm gonna put two here. When I do this row here, it will be one, and then one smack dab in the middle to drape over top of that part. That leads for a flawless look at the end, so where you're not seeing a whole bunch of gaps. Even here, I will put a braid right in the middle to drape over top of this part. So here's for the ones that don't know how to braid. Take three pieces. Number one is gonna go under number two. Number three is gonna go underneath number one, which is gonna lead it to be in the middle. So your number should look like this. One, three, two. You then take the added braided hair, connect it with number three that's in the middle, leaving one side out. Then you're gonna take number three and you're gonna put it over top of number two or put number two under number three, however you wanna word it. And then you take number one and put that underneath to where it's in the middle. Then you add the braid in here to that middle piece, that number one. Here's a close up so you guys can see it in case you're more of a visual learner like me. I'm just going to continue this until the entire head of hair is completed. Did want to note that you want to make sure that you are comparing to the rest of the braid so that you don't have one shorter or longer than the other and make sure that you braid all the way down so that the braid will be sealed. Now that we're done braiding, we're gonna seal the ends with some boiling hot water. All you need is a towel and a pitcher, or you could use a cup. I just feel more comfortable with a pitcher because it has a handle. And I dip the hair at least two times. I do one half of the hair, and then I do the other half, and then I do it again with all braids in my hand, making sure that I'm really dragging the towel down the braids and squeezing out all the excess water so that way she doesn't have to go with a wet shirt. Now, in this case, we did have to leave the house, but if you were going to be staying inside, you do have the option to put mousse on top as well to lay down any flyaways. I only put on the mousse when I can follow up with a bonnet or a scarf. But these are the results. If you did like this video and if it was helpful, be sure to leave a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, comment down below. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.